Welcome to this video on how to make your Aneng Q1 digital multimeter work with rechargeable batteries. The Aneng Q1 is a digital multimeter with quite nice specifications for its price of around 30 euros. It's also sold under, under the name Zoe ZTX or Rich Meters RM409. And while it's a nice meter, it has a major issue. It really needs three volts of operating power. Uh, so two AA batteries is what you can put in the back. But when the voltage drops around uh, 2.5 volts, then already the low battery warning starts to pop up and also the backlight which is permanently on to give this inverse display that it has uh, already starts to become a little dim and this makes it complicated to use with rechargeable batteries because even if you have brand newly charged batteries yeah your voltage uh, probably will not reach 3 it will be around 2.5 or less and that gives us some troubles. Luckily, there's a simple solution and also a cheap solution. My meter came in past week with in this nice little pouch and well, there's a whole uh, wealth of accessories that came with it, that's, that's nice. And when it's turned on with a three volt supply, then the backlight, as we can see here, is quite okay and uh, the unit works perfect. Now, what can we do to improve its working with rechargeable batteries? Well, first of all, we put it uh, upside down and take the four screws in the corner out. And then when we lift the uh, cover, then luckily we see that there is plenty of room to include a small device called a DC-DC step-up converter. And uh, this is the one that I used. It can be had for around 70 cents, so that's quite on the cheap. And there are only three connections that need to be made. The V-out is already on the PCB itself connected to the V-in and uh, one wire to ground is uh, needed here. Then the V-out is going to the battery uh, solder pad and the V-in, that is uh, something special that's connected to uh, yeah, an extra uh, piece of metal that we have to place here. I used uh, this for it, uh, uh, a thumb tag of which I cut off the pin and that exactly fits over here with a, sh a sheet of isolation material so it does not uh, touch the original uh, battery pad. This wire goes to the V in and that's all there is to it. Then of course you have to tune the uh, potentiometer on the uh, DC converter and I tuned it to little over 3 volt just to be on the safe side. And this is all it needs and now my unit works perfectly well. So well this was it actually, thank you for watching and have fun applying this little hardware hack. Uh, rechargeable batteries are perfect if you place this converter inside.